Hey there, welcome again from my marine engineering technique channel. Today, we have a plan to overhaul and renew mechanical seat of the Ichita pan. Lastly, you need to remove coupling cut. Coupling cut should be placed in position for personal safety. Thought deposits and scale scatter around the chef machine. I assume that it may be leakage from chef mechanical seal. Loosen and remove the chef coupling bolts. Confirm all coupling bolts are removed before lifting at the motor. And then loosen and remove motor bracket bolts. Mark and disconnect motor terminal connections. And then lift up the motor and secure and see please. Loosen and remove hexagonal bolts or casing cover. After then, lift up the motor bracket. Lift up the pan cover. If it is stuck, fit the iron bolts and lift it by using chain block. Maker of this centrifugal pump is F11. Loosen and remove impeller screw. Mark the position of impeller and lift up. Detach key from the shaft. Remove the rotating part of the mechanical seal from the shaft. And here, we found damage on the surface and need to replace. Remove casing cover together with stationary parts of the mechanical seal. You can subscribe my channel and turn on notification for upcoming contents. Ok, let's go back. Gently press down stationary seal from casing cover and check. Found it will stay in good condition. Carefully check all these mandal parts and found normal condition as a mechanical seal. Let's pre-assemble again. Carefully and gently press down stationary parts of the mechanical seal into casing cover. Ejita pan is one of the most essential parts of freshwater generator. Mount casing cover with mechanical seal over the shaft. After that, mount rotating part of the mechanical seal over stationary part. Place the key on the shaft. Fit Impella onto the shaft and confirm Impella is in correct direction. After that, fit and secure Impella screw with lot type. For easy fitting of casing cover, you should apply thin layer of grease on the lift open housing.
mount casing cover with impeller assembly on pump housing. And then place motor bracket over the casing cover. Secure motor bracket and pump casing cover by using the bolts. Carefully lower the motor over the bracket. And then secure motor and bracket with the bolts. Fit and tighten the goblin bolts. Connect wires or motor terminals and open required bolts for test run. Check the parameters of the pump and any leakage around the ejector pump. And also check the running direction of the motor. As I have told you before, don't forget to cover the rotating shaft for personal safety. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for upcoming contents. Goodbye for now and hope to see you soon in this video.